Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yell episode 12, I think? Um, this episode we are going to go fight Sabrina, which we can do now because we got Silphco done and um, after Sabrina we're going to go next door to the, uh, I think it's the fighting dojo, where we can get either Hitmon Lee or Hitmon Chan. So uh, we're going we're gonna to do that. Let's see, make sure everyone is up there. Yes. Now, this might take a little bit because I can't remember which is which. There's where we need to go. I don't remember what to do. It's just like keep doing it and hope that you just get it. Oh, okay, never mind. And here we are at Sabrina. It only took, I don't know, a minute or so to do that. All right, so. Since I was a child, I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. Then I learned how to bend human bones. Which, given how dark Sabrina could be, I wouldn't be surprised. Like she started going out and bending the bones of Pokemon and stuff, and she like moved up to like humans and oh, we are we might have a little bit of trouble here. They're a little higher than we are. Not too bad, <clears throat> but um, yeah. So, Sabrina, man, she can be wicked evil if she wants to be. Nice. Cadabra. Uh, no. I might power level them again, because obviously they're supposed to be up to by, you know, up to level 50 by now. Um, so I might just do that. Ooh, Jesus. Of course he did, because you're a cheater! Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. And Pikachu's down. Pussy boy. Poop. Okay, Cadaver's gone. He's an Alakazam. They're probably gonna take the rest of my team to do this, but. Alakazam! Oh god, please let this be final. I just. No, please, 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 please. Oh, fuck you. Mmm. Ah, screw you, buddy. I might as well stick with Earthquake. It's seriously the best thing we can do right now. And you are screwed! Hooray for spamming. And we beat down a Kazam. I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss.
Yep, up to level 70, blah blah blah. Yay! Side wave. Let's see, can I use a. <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys, well, that didn't take too long, did it? Oh All right, so um, I'm actually going to kind of like just power level for a little bit and I will be back when I am done. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Um, I really power level. Um, I got bolts up to 70, 75, 65, 64, 65, 61, 63, um, I mean like because I'm doing it on an emulator I can do that, I can make everything speed up so battling does not take nearly as long as it should so I was able to essentially power level. Um, we're gonna go do this now, this uh, right here, poop. Eh. Take your shoes off! Okay. Take off your shoes and come on in. Monkey. Oh god, this is gonna be brutal. I feel bad for them. Like, I, I power leveled thinking that it was gonna be like, you know, around 50, 60 like they were in, um, with Sabrina, but just jeez okay well we're just gonna utterly and completely destroy these guys prime ape one of my favorites I'm so sorry prime ape I love you dang it Bobby I hear you're good. Show me. Oh, what, what do you want me to show you? Are you related to that guy on the ship who liked feisty kids? Because if so, I see a repeating thing in your family. Oh, while I was power leveling, Charizard finally learned Flamethrower, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um... I think I got them pretty much all their moves, you know, uh, Venusaur Nose, Solar Beam, um, Hydro Pump for Blastoise, stuff like that, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much as far as you can get them with moves, but, um, let's go up here, talk to the must of the dojo. Expect no mercy. Pwah! And then he sits there powering up for about five minutes. <sighs> what are you? I am the hope of the universe. Thunderbolt should be more than enough to finish him. Just in one shot. Yep. Hitmonlee, who is based off Bruce Lee and Hitmonchan, of course, Jackie Chan. Oh, Game Freak, Nintendo, you guys are clever, aren't you? Alright, so after this, we're going to pick our Pokemon. I don't know who I'm going to pick. Probably Hitmonchan. I just... I think he's got a better array of bomb moves. You know, he can get, like, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, and... Blah, blah, blah. Prized fighting Pokemon. No. No. Hitmonchan! The piston punching Hitmonchan. Rocky. Um. Yes, we'll call him.
phone, Jackie. All right. So now we're off. And let us go to... Where are we going here? Celadon? Yeah. So we need to get to um, Fuchsia. So let's go to Celadon. Ah. Spike. Excuse me, kind sir. I already have Cartman, so I don't need him. Let's just thunderbolt his ass. And it does nothing. I'd be surprised. Or actually, I really wouldn't be surprised. He's so fat. With a big yawn, Snorlax returned to the mountains. Just like that, he was just like, boop boop. Gotta be careful. That's what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> I mean, I might be able to make the episode doing the gym, or I might do the Safari Zone. One of those two I'm going to do. So don't you all worry your pretty little heads off. I will do one of those as soon as I get past this blasted bike road. Side here. Do, 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 do. Sorry. I'm doing that on purpose just so everybody knows. Okay, good. I thought I was pretty screwed. Okay. Actually, is it here? It's got that cool little thing going on. Failure. All right. Looked into binoculars. There are people swimming. I think it's this one. I don't know. Nope. It wasn't this one. There's one of them that kind of makes reference to one of the legendary birds. I can't remember which one. I think it's Articuno. But, um, yeah. Let's, um... No, we don't want to go that way. Pokemon bulbs. Actually, let's go sell some of our wares. Do they have Ultra Balls? Yes, thank you. Sell Great Balls. Alright, let's see how many do we want here. As much as money can buy, really. Eh, 70 should be good. Nice round number. Nice even number. 
All right, so I can either do the Safari Zone, which actually I think I will do that, and then the next episode I will, um, you know, do Koga. Not do him, but, you know, fight him. Yes, I would. Safari Balls. Ash knows all about Safari Balls, considering he caught, like, 50 fucking Tauros. Okay, now, we're trying to make our way to the end. Um, simply because there's obviously a prize at the end that we kind of need. Um, not going to spoil it, which I don't know why I don't, considering I've spoiled considering I've spoiled pretty much everything else in this game. Ooh, Nidorino. Nidorina. Uh, let's throw some balls. Whatever. Max Potion, nice. I'll get all the Pokeballs eventually. Pull Restore, nice. Um, just right now, it's more of a time is of the essence kind of thing, you know? Chansey! Oh my god! Of course. I think you're supposed to throw bait for her. But, um... Honestly, I'm just happy I found, like, actually saw her. Because I remember when I first started playing the game, back when it first came out, even red and blue, finding a Chansey, it's freaking hard. She's one of those ones that just does not want to pop up. Ooh, same thing with Kangaskhan. Let's throw some bait. Get in the ball. Get in the freaking ball! Throw a rock at him. Throw a rock! Ouch! Of course he did. It's like Pokemon like that. The huge ones that are just so hard to get. I'm just not doing great with this ball thing today. My balls aren't working. Of course, execute. Fucking always, you can always catch this thing. No. Can I use. Please let that actually work. TM40. Nice. Let's see here. Skull Bash, which I've already talked to um what should we call it? Blastoise. Protein. We'll use that on Pikachu. Because everyone else's attack and everything is pretty much where it should be. Pikachu just needs to be increased a little bit. And we made it. Ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house. Of course, I don't. Oh, man, we still have two nuggets. Okay. Double team. Just toss that. 
Well, actually, let's toss um, Skullbash. I don't need it on multiple Pokemon anyway. HMO3. Surf. We still got a little bit of time, so let us gold teeth, which is another item we desperately needed to progress through our journey here. Mm, let's see. Okay. There's actually a trick where you can just kind of stand here and then just kind of like look in the different directions and not waste time. But um, since obviously we're trying to leave, uh, we'll be walking. But yeah, if you just if you want to catch Pokemon and not worry about time, you just stand in one place and just ever so gently tap left or right or up or down and just kind of do uh, you know that sort of thing doesn't work all the time because I have big fingers you know it's like that but um yeah it's probably it'll probably be easier for you guys to do I've got Shrek hands you know big sausagey fingers so I'm saying if we can hurry up, that'd be great because then we can go fight Koga. Da 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 da. Boo boo. It's over. Did you get a good haul? No. I caught execute, and that's it. And before we start, we are going to put I recall he has like um you know like bugs and stuff, so we're gonna use those. Okay, let's <clears throat> heal up here. All right. I don't know if they needed healing, but um, yeah, we're healing them anyway. All right. So let's go do this. We're going to Koga's gym. Yeah. Oh God. All right, I think I'm gonna cut out again and then kind of come back when everything is done. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm up to Koga. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that didn't take too long, but um, definitely cut down on the time. So we were up at Koga. And I believe, like I said, he had, yeah, poisons and stuff like that. So he has like a Venomoth and a Weezing, I think. Venonat. So yeah, Charizard should be more than enough, especially with Flamethrower. So we'll see how that does. Super effective. Venonat. So the next one should be Venomoth and then Weezing or Weezing and Venomoth. Either one of those two, if I recall. Venonat. Really? Huh. I swore he had a Weezing at one point, but that might have been in the first gen, like um, red and blue.
Metamoth. Nope, and we are gonna be fine. It's a good thing I leveled up, because yeah, I level 50. <laughs> Alright. And we defeated Koga. The Soul Badge. Defense of your Pokemon increases as you surf outside of battle. Make space for this child. I think it's like, um. What is that? Oh, yeah, let's teach this to Kadabra. Yes. Actually, let's get rid of Mega Kick. Really no reason for it. He's a Psychic type, not a Fighting type. Toxic or something like that, I think. Yep, Toxic. Alright, so instead of moving... No, nope, can't do it. Thought I'd save myself some time. Alright, so we're going to go to our final destination <laughs> here. So, uh, where is it? I think it's this guy's house. Yep, the warden. Alright, and this is where we're going to end the episode, guys. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, and I will see you guys in the next episode.